Okay, I just wanted to show uh, how I'm using Power SDR, and when I'm looking at whisper signals, there's a signal in the whisper band right there. You just barely see it. This is called the Panafall mode. It's pan adapter up here, uh, and the waterfall down here. Uh, and you can see there's a strong signal outside of the pass band of my filter, which is where the whisper uh, filter is but it, it's wider the skirts are wider so it doesn't doesn't cut off um, I can show you describe the filter when I go to the spectrum there's the width of my filter right there and you can see it's centered on 1500 uh, that's where the offset is from uh, 1038 700 ends up up here uh, more or less and that's the width of my filter there okay so this other other feature I'm going to show is uh, how I have this zoomed in I, and I'm running at four, uh, sam the lowest sample rate possible for my Flex 3000 which is 48,000 so I'm going to zoom out and you can see here this is the whisper segment you can see that signal that was outside of the whisper pass band you can see all this noise that's in my shack this this is stuff here that if I was you know tuning to here I'd use a tunable notch filter to get rid of I'd probably drop a couple filters on there this is a power supply or something filthy in my uh, shack yeah, but it's outside the area I'm concerned with so I don't worry about it and we're going to zoom back in here again get this centered up uh, and there is a signal in the whisper pass band now right now uh, right there and it's a pretty decent signal okay and I'm using a, my filter is just a little wider than the whisper filter I'll show you one of the reasons for that you see the S meter here is you know bumping four S units okay this is my noise level uh, right now it's a S5 noise level with a 2.5 K filter so if I go back down to uh, the filter that I've described, the custom filter I've described for whisper, then it's uh, the, the noise level drops and some of the garbage that pumps up my AGC, which is not necessarily a good thing, uh, goes away. So only the signals of interest affect my front end. Uh, none of this stuff that falls outside of the filter affects my front end but that's that's how I use my variable filter and the the view mode that I use uh, power SDR in and I'm zoomed in all the way so I can see these only you know basically see the signals I'm interested in only and not have to uh, look at outside the the pass band on my filter and you know I wish I could zoom in even more but this is this is this is as far in as I can get so that's the way we do it here 73 from KC6 KG